Hey, good day. How many of you out there are like me when you want to go for a small hike up in the mountains or by the lake and you're just going to do a day shoot? You don't want to bring all the equipment. I don't want to bring my big backpack with everything inside of it. I need something a little bit smaller, something I can carry, just the little things I need, just some extra batteries, maybe an extra camera, and just a couple little things right there. So how can we do that? So let me introduce you to the Moncito Sling Backpack. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and take a look at today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this little guy right here, overall length is about 17 inches long and say around eight inches wide right there. So it's not a big backpack. Great for that little day trip if you wanna go ahead and do that. Do you want to put your camera gear in? Not going to hold any more than maybe one big camera in here, but that might be enough. So you can carry camera. I can probably get my camera, my GoPro, and a couple lenses in here. And we'll go ahead and look inside this in just a minute. But let's take a look at the outside. It's made out of almost like a nylon or polyester there. Um, one thing about this, it does re repel water, but it is not waterproof. But it does come with a little bag that go ahead and cover it over right there. It is flat on the bottom, and it's got some little foot pads right there, as you can see them. So when you go ahead and set it down, it will stand up. Turn it around to the side here. It does have a little loop right here to go ahead and uh, strap in a tripod. And you put the tripod in here, or put a water bottle right there. Nothing on this side here, it goes ahead and opens up. Come around the strap here. Nothing on the strap. There is a little hook thing right here. If you want to go ahead and clip on something right there, you go ahead and do that. It does. It is designed to go ahead and come across your chest or up over a shoulder. And it does have a little strap that can come underneath here to kind of hold and stabilize if you are climbing up around on some rocks and stuff like that. The back is set up for a nice air design to help go ahead and keep it cool and stuff when this thing's riding on your back all day long there. Nice little thing it's hiding on the side right here is it's got a little zipper for a little security thing. You can go ahead and put a cell phone in there or something, slide it right in there and kind of seal it up right there and lock it off that way so you don't get into it. It's got a couple zippers here. We're gonna go ahead and do an overhead shot and take a look at that. So let me go ahead and lay this down here. We'll come in and do an overhead shot and let's take a look at the inside of this one here. Now, one of your first questions I know everybody's going to ask is, what is the material like? Is it a good material? It does feel like a very durable material that they made this out of. So it doesn't feel really cheap. It doesn't seem to you know, all the sewing and everything that's in it looks really good quality and stuff. And the next question I know you're going to ask is the zipper. Okay, the top whole first part of the zipper, the whole top half here, is made out of metal. Now inside here, it is plastic along the seams there, but it does not seem to be too bad. And they do have like a little uh, sewing layer around here. When you zip it closed, it seems to fold over to help keep it probably for the good splash material and stuff that's on it. Now, when I first bought this, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and get it for all the camera stuff. But what I really liked about this bag was the top part of it here. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. And what I like about this is look at all that storage area you've got right there. You've got this nice little pouch up here, which is Velcroed. You can go ahead and put small stuff in there or whatever and then seal it right there like that. What you can't see probably is right down inside there, right there, is another little mesh thing right in there. It can go ahead and hold stuff. What I like to do is for the camera handles that are on top, they come right off and they seem to fit right in there perfectly. So that's a really good spot. And I've loaded all kinds of different things inside here. I just filled this thing right up and it's sealed over. Um, one other thing to note is all around in here, across the bottom and the top part here, and cord in the back too, is all padded. It's got a little layer of padding inside there, all of it. So it makes it nice and neat there. So let's go ahead and look into the big compartment. It's got double latches here. So if you wanted to, you can go ahead and we'll open it up. And you can open it up just partial way, right there. Just open it up, go ahead and reach in, get your camera out and do it that way. If not, unlatch them right here. Just gives you a little bit more extra strength on it right there. Open it all the way up. And then go ahead and open all the way right there. And then you've got full access to the inside. Now, coming back here on the top right there, you'll see another little pocket right here, which is Velcroed also. So you can go ahead and get that. So you can put small stuff in there. I like to put batteries, 
different things like that in here or ND filters and stuff that will go with the cameras, whatever. Put them right in here with it, sort of with them. Now inside here, you can go ahead, these actually Velcro in the place. You can move them around, change whatever angle you want, or they can come completely out. So you can go ahead and set things up. I generally set a camera here and one or two things on the sides, usually some external mics or something like that, I put them on the sides and I've got places for three lens right there. What I like to do in the middle one here is usually the GoPro fits right in there, just perfectly right there. Or again, you can take all this out and have one big compartment for whatever you need it for there. So that's really nice. And the zippers work really smooth on this. I don't see having any binding or anything like that or any trouble with them when you grab them. Let me swing that around. I like to keep it that way. We'll latch this back down and get it all ready to flip it around here. Now, again, on this side right here, as you can see, there's nothing there, just the, the zipper part right here. But if you come around to the back again, we had talked about this earlier in that one part, is where it's got a little hidden compartment. Open that all the way down, and you can open it up right there. And this nice little big compartment right here is big enough that it goes from here all the way to the bottom. And it covers all the way over to the other side. Now I tried to put a 10 inch uh, uh, tablet in here, and it wouldn't fit, it just hung out a little bit. So it's not big enough to hold that, but a smaller tablet or a phone or something or a wallet or something you want to go ahead and put in here and kind of keep it so where it's kind of protected there, a little more anti-theft and stuff as you go along there. Again, the strap here, this is padded. And if you notice, it's got the layer, same as the back, to go ahead and help keep it so it can breathe a little bit so it's not sweating on you right there. And again, it does have a little hook right here, a little strap right here. You can go ahead and clip on things too. We're coming around the back, the other side here. You've got your strap, which is adjustable, links and everything, to go ahead and hook a tripod onto. You've got another little loop right here to go ahead and slide something in, attach it onto it. And you can go ahead and put the tripod in the bottom here, or a water bottle, or whatever you would like in this part here to go ahead and carry along with you. Again, as you're coming down to the bottom here, it's got the little foot pads. Let's move those out of the way. It's got the little foot pads to go ahead and keep it level right there. But the big thing here is on the bottom, let's go open that up right there. It's hidden right here on the bottom beside this little Velcro pocket is the little cover. Now, this is in case you're outside and all of a sudden you get hit with a big rainstorm or something. This is water repellent, so if it's a light rainstorm or something, I don't think it's really going to hurt it. But if you start getting a downpour or something, you may need this. Then you just go ahead and fold it back up and tuck it back in there and seal it right up there for it. On the top here, you've got a nice little handle up here. Go ahead and hook and grab onto. I usually grab onto it and use that thing to carry it on right there. So you've got that to go ahead and use. And your shoulder strap right there. Another thing too, again, it does have this thing that comes across. And goes ahead and pulls in and latches on there for nice stability there for you. So that's a nice little good overview. And let's go ahead and back and have me jump to the other side of the camera here again. One thing about this backpack, it does have a very comfortable fit. As you go ahead and put it over your shoulders or wearing it that way so it's for those long days you're carrying the thing all the way around with you or you're carrying it hiking or backpacking up into the mountains up there you know if you just need it for that little day trip it's great another one big thing about it is the padding it's got padding bottom top sides all the way around it as i mentioned it earlier it's padded on the inside there but it's got padding and especially even moving across the back and stuff it's padding back here so all your camera gear and everything would be nice and safe inside there the bag gets hit or banged or something it should go ahead and help protect it seems to be very durable i like it i would highly recommend this i've gone ahead and put down below a link for it so if you want to go ahead and check it out and get this one for yourself good little recommendation like i said i have my big backpack that i take out if i'm going to go do a big shoot where i need a lot of equipment and stuff that one's my go-to one. But if I just need a little day thing where I'm going to grab the GoPro, I'm going to grab a camera, I want to go hiking in the mountains, take some quick shots, have some extra batteries with me, stuff like that, and I don't need a whole bunch of gear, this is a great little choice right there. So I hope you like the backpack right here. Good little review on it. I definitely have used it a couple times already and I've enjoyed it a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to use this. This is definitely in my arsenal of things with all the little things I have. So if you liked the video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. That would always be greatly appreciated if you want to go ahead and see more of these things we've got coming out. So for today, I want to go ahead and thank you and have a great day.